hairspray. The first reason every dancer needs hairspray is simply for your hair. Hairspray is great at keeping hairstyles in place and keeping your flyaways plastered back. The second reason every dancer needs hairspray is for the bottom of your shoes. Sometimes the floors that you're dancing on are really slippery, so an easy fix is to spray the bottom of your dance shoes with some hairspray, wait for it to dry so it gets tacky, and then continue dancing. The tackiness of the hairspray helps so that you don't slip. The third reason every dancer needs hairspray is for their costume. If your costume is really staticky, you can simply spray it with hairspray and it will take the static away. Or if your costume has a lot of sequins or glitter that keeps falling off, you can spray hairspray over the costume to help keep the sequins and glitter in place. The fourth reason every dancer needs hairspray is for your tap shoes. Most tap shoes have laces and it would be terrible for them to come untied during a performance. So after you tie your tap shoes, spray the laces with hairspray to help keep your laces tied. The fifth reason every dancer needs hairspray is for bobby pins. Bobby pins are essential to every successful dancer's life. They help keep your hair back and they help keep hairstyles in place. So it really stinks when your bobby pins fall out. One way to help keep them in is to spray your bobby pin with hairspray before you put it in your hair and then once it's in your hair it will stay more secure because of the hairspray. The second thing every dancer needs is clear nail polish. The first reason every dancer needs clear nail polish is not to keep your nails shiny. It's to prevent rips and tights from ripping even more. So it really stinks when you start to get a rip in one of your favorite pairs of tights. Especially if you just got the pair. If you catch the rip early, don't be alarmed. You can prevent it. Simply take some clear nail polish and paint over the rip. This will help prevent it from ripping even more. The second reason every dancer needs clear nail polish is to make homemade transition tights. Sometimes you really need a pair of transition tights and all you have are the full footed tights. Well, you can cut a hole in the bottom of the tights, but if you do that, your tights will just run. But if you put clear nail polish on the edges you just cut out of the bottom of the foot, it'll prevent the tights from running and ripping. The third reason every dancer needs clear nail polish is for your point shoes. Every dancer's point shoes ribbon start to fray. One way you can prevent that is to use a lighter and burn the edges of the ribbon. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can use clear nail polish. Just simply cut off the excess thread with scissors and put clear nail polish over the edge of the ribbon. This will prevent the ribbon from fraying. The third thing every dancer needs is water. The first reason every dancer needs water is to drink. Dancers have to stay hydrated. The second reason every dancer needs water is for staticky hair. Water can help to keep the static down while styling the hair or after the hair is styled by spraying some water on the hairstyle. The third reason every dancer needs water is for staticky costumes. Just like with spraying hairspray on a costume, it's the same idea. Water will also help take the static away from your costume. The fourth reason every dancer needs water is for makeup application and removal. Some makeup products are easier to put on if you have the brush or the sponge a little bit wet. Some makeup removers need water to use them, or if you just have a little mess up of makeup that you need to remove, you can use a Q-tip and some water. The fourth thing every dancer needs is socks. The first reason every dancer needs socks is for turning. Sometimes dancers forget their dance shoes, but that's not going to stop dancers from dancing. So, if you have some socks in your bag that you either pre-cut to be turning socks or that you can easily fold down, then you can continue dancing and turning and you don't have to worry about slipping. The second reason every dancer needs socks is to break in your point shoes. If you have a brand new pair of point shoes that need to be broken in, put your point shoes on and put a big pair of socks over them and walk around your house. This will help warm up the point shoes and start to break them into your feet. The third reason every dancer needs socks is to stretch out your jazz shoes. Sometimes when you get a brand new pair of jazz shoes, they are just simply too tight. But if you gotta size up, they'd be too big, so you have to stretch them out. One way you can do this is to put one or two pairs of socks on and put your jazz shoes over the socks and wear them around your house like you would with your point shoes. This will help stretch out your jazz shoes so that the next time you put them on to practice, you'll actually be able to point your foot. The fourth reason every dancer needs socks is contemporary. One of the best ways to dance contemporary is when wearing socks, or no socks at all. But if you want to get some turns in your contemporary dances, you're going to need some socks. So always make sure to have whatever socks you like to do contemporary in, in your dance bag, just in case the occasion arises. The fifth reason every dancer needs socks is to make sock buns. If you don't have a hair donut from the store or you want to make more in different sizes, you're in luck. All you need is a sock. Depending on the size of the donut you want depends on the size of the sock. But all you do is start rolling the sock and when you get to the end, you cut the toes off and completely wrap it. It should stay put, but if you want, you can sew a couple stitches to make sure it stays. 
then just use it like a regular hair donut. The fifth thing every dancer needs is safety pins. The first reason every dancer needs safety pins is for costume. Sometimes pieces of costume need to be sewn on, but you don't have time to sew them on. Or sometimes pieces fall off and you don't have time to sew them on. So if you have safety pins, you can do a quick fix. Also, sometimes costumes are too big and it's just easier to safety pin them than sew them, especially if you don't have time to sew them. The second reason every dancer needs safety pins is to hold your earrings and necklaces. This is a neat way that I discovered to hold your earrings and necklaces. This way they don't get lost in the bottom of your dance bag. Just string the ends of your earrings through the safety pin and then string your necklace through the safety pin and shut the safety pin and then you're all set. You won't lose your earrings and necklace in your dance bag. The sixth thing every dancer needs is hair accessories. The first reason every dancer needs hair accessories is for costumes. Hair accessories add the final touch to your costume. Some costumes come with them and some costumes don't, so it's always great to have a good backup stash of hair accessories to match to your costume. The second reason every dancer needs hair accessories is for conventions. If you've ever been to a convention, you want to stand out. Sometimes putting a bright yellow flower in your hair or a big pink bow will help you stand out to the teachers. The third reason every dancer needs hair accessories is to feel confident. Sometimes adding a little pizzazz like a bow or a flower in your hair will give you that self-confidence boost to make you dance even better than before. The fourth reason every dancer needs hair accessories is to simply keep your hair back. You don't want your hair flying in your face unless it's for the dance while you're dancing, especially while you're practicing. So sometimes a fun way to pull your hair back is with cute little clips and bows and hair ties and everything else. The seventh thing every dancer needs is a notebook and pen. The first reason every dancer needs a notebook and pen is to write down your choreography. Sometimes while you're learning brand new choreography, the best thing to do to remember it is to go quickly write it down after you learn it. This way when you go to practice it later, you don't have to question what step comes next because you can check your notebook. The second reason every dancer needs a notebook and pen is to write down your goals. Sometimes it's good to just write down a list of the goals you want to achieve. Write down that you want to get your right split within two weeks and here's how you're going to do it. Or write down that you want to stretch more and write down your stretching routine. If you write down your goals, you're more likely to accomplish them. And these can be for any goals, not just dance goals. That's just like a life hack. The third reason every dancer needs a notebook and pen is to write down your competition and performance checklist. Let's face it, we have to bring a lot of stuff to rehearsals, performances, and competitions. If you don't write everything down ahead of time, you may very well forget things. A matter of fact, you probably will. There's so many things you're bound to forget something. So if you make a checklist ahead of time while your mind isn't crazy and getting ready mode, you're more likely to remember everything you need in the checklist so then when you go to pack your bag, you can just check things off on your checklist and go down the list. That way you're less likely to forget something and you'll feel even more prepared. The eighth thing every dancer needs is deodorant and lip balm. The first reason every dancer needs deodorant and lip balm is for your underarms and your lips. Make sure you put the lip balm on your lips and the deodorant on your underarms, not the other way around because it might, it might get weird. The second reason every dancer needs deodorant is for the backs of your heels or any other part of your foot. If your shoe is rubbing on your heel really bad or rubbing on a certain part of your foot like the side or the toes, you can rub some lip balm or deodorant, whichever you have or feel more comfortable with, and then put your shoe back on and it will help reduce the friction from the shoe to your foot. This can also help for some costumes. If you have a costume strap that's really scratching you, you could put some lip balm onto your skin where it's scratching you and it will help reduce the scratching from the costume. Just don't put it directly onto the costume because that might discolor your costume. The third reason every dancer needs deodorant and lip balm is for the bottom of their shoes. And this is for the opposite reason of why you would want hairspray on the bottom of your shoes. If you're on a really sticky floor or really dry floor and you can't turn or you can't move, you can put some lip balm or deodorant on the bottom of your shoe, on the turning part of your shoe, and Voila, you'll be able to move again. The ninth thing every dancer needs is band-aids. The first reason every dancer needs band-aids is simply for when you get hurt. Sometimes you get a scratch or a bump or a bruise or something that a band-aid can cover that you can put a band-aid on. The second reason every dancer needs band-aids is to cover any piercings that you're not allowed to show during performances. Some people have piercings like a belly button piercing or a cartilage piercing that they aren't allowed to take out yet, but they also aren't allowed to wear on stage. So one way to get around that is to put a band-aid as close to your skin color as possible over the earring to help hide it on stage. The third reason every dancer needs band-aids is to prevent rubbing from costumes or shoes. Sometimes deodorant or lip balm on your skin and your shoe won't cut it. 
especially if you already have a sore, I don't suggest putting deodorant or lip balm on it. So if you have a blister or you have a sore that's about to break through, put a band-aid over it and then put your shoe on, which will obviously help stop the rubbing. You can also do this for costumes if it's someplace on your body that's not very visible that you could put a band-aid to help reduce the rubbing from your costume to your skin. The tenth thing every dancer needs is nail clippers. The first reason every dancer needs nail clippers is to simply trim your nails, especially your toenails. If you are a point dancer or any dancer, you need to keep your toenails as short as possible without being too short because you don't want to get ingrown toenails. Basically, you just have to keep your nails trimmed and under control at all times. So, you should always have nail clippers on you just in case you need them. The second reason every dancer needs nail clippers is for excess skin. This is kind of gross, but it's going to happen. Loose skin is going to come off of your feet and you may need to clip it off if it doesn't fall off completely. The third reason every dancer needs nail clippers is for loose thread. Sometimes on costumes or practice pieces or shoes or tights or anything, you'll get a loose thread that you don't want to rip off and maybe you don't have scissors to cut it off. You can use nail clippers like little scissors. The fourth reason every dancer needs nail clippers is for dangling sequins. Sometimes you have a sequin on your costume that fell out of place but it's still attached and you can clip it off with nail clippers. Again, make sure that that string isn't going to start unraveling your costume. If so, tie a knot in it first. The fifth reason every dancer needs nail clippers is because they're like tiny scissors. If you don't keep tiny scissors in your bag, which you may want to, nail clippers will do the job most of the time. If you have a tiny little makeup product you need to open that scissors would open, you can use the end of nail clippers, you can use them for thread while you're sewing, you can use them to even open snacks sometimes if you're really good with them. They're just like tiny little tactile scissors.